hello welcome back to part two of my build with me series in part one i started this build located in granite falls and now it's been a few days and i'm ready to kind of finish up the landscaping most likely start on the inside i hope that i could finish this in two more parts i am going to start a timer for myself for like 35 minutes and hope that that'll i'll get enough done for this part that's kind of what i'm hoping for so i'm gonna start the timer and i'm gonna like make a little pond line this with some plants and then probably do the downstairs of the house but we'll see what i could get done in 35 minutes timer has started yeah i this is very new to me but i appreciate anyone who is choosing to watch this i know it's different from my speed builds and stuff but i wanted to try something different and it's felt like a nicer break between speed builds because speed builds it's like um like three hours of building plus editing it which is sometimes like a couple hours and then the voiceover and like recording all the stuff for the video it's just a lot <laughs> and this like it felt very stress-free that i the video was practically done as soon as i finished like recording like the moment i pressed to stop recording it was done and i was like oh my god <laughs> like i felt so much like lighter and that i didn't have to do a bunch of stuff so i'm hoping to like have these sorts of videos in the mix occasionally i am still going to continue doing speed builds so if this isn't your thing i still have speed builds that will be going up like once a week except for this week because this week i'm doing this and this is all messed up over here um i need to flatten this i think i'm gonna line this with plants as well I'm getting there. See, that seems like really reasonable. I'm probably going to grab some ferns in the catalog, which might be hard to find. I found them. See, I'm learning too that maybe I stop talking while I'm scrolling if I know it might take a long time. And this way, I can continue. Wait, my game sound isn't working. Hold on. Now it's working. Sometimes OBS will reset my audio sources. Well, I said it's sometimes. It does that every time. And normally I remember to do it before I stream. But I'm not streaming, so I didn't even think that I had to reset it. Good thing it just started, though. And I probably only missed, like a minute of other sounds going i feel like that's too many ferns i kind of went overboard with it and probably just gonna look for those white flowers with like the daisies the oops -a daisies i think they're called i'll go with this debug one because it's already here and i'll keep it pretty simple and just place them where i need space filled up especially over here because this is the problem area and these are like my friend vicky calls this band-aids so if you have like a part of your build that is messed up you just put a little band-aid on it aka plants everywhere so it hides your mistakes i'm getting somewhere with it Honestly, the landscaping won't take me much longer. I'm just throwing these same sorts of plants in. I'll have some dirt around, most likely. I don't know if I should put anything over here. I think it would be nice to have another pond over here, right? Like, <laughs> I'm like trying to explain with my mouse instead of my words, but you'll understand like that so it's like a whole little pathway leading up to these stairs over here and these ponds really don't take me that long which is why i do them in like every single build 
that's my way around landscaping. It's putting a lot of trees or taking up half the lot with a pond so you don't have to place as many objects down. And ever since I started like lining everything with rocks, it looks so much neater and like a lot more effort went into it than it genuinely did <laughs> because this will probably take me like what a minute or something to fill up that pond and then you just like chuck some of these guys around i probably want like just a little bit more variety in my landscaping i'm not sure what is this oh this, this is kind of nice this is from snowy escape i like it kind of has the fern texture to it honestly so it kind of goes pretty well with what I already had picked out that I was using. I'm sorry if I'm sniffling. Okay. And then I'll just like line this so it looks a little bit more finished and it's not forgotten. Um, no one has ever personally asked me <laughs> when I post a picture of my builds like, well show the back <laughs> because like a lot of people post that on like really beautiful um, builds i've seen my friends get questioned that where people will be like yeah well the front looks pretty but what does the back look like and i know that people do not like being asked that i've never been asked that but this is what the back looks like <laughs> this is what i'm doing in preparation for that so if someone says that i'm like oh i was prepared for this question okay see barely any effort and i'll I'll also hide these in here so it looks like I spent more time doing this than I actually did. I don't really like this rock poking out. I don't think I'm going to do anything about it. <laughs> it's just going to stay like that. And I'll just lower this with tool. Oh, that was not enough. I need like a, a 0.5. Even more. Oh my god. They also usually edit this out. What if I do a 0.9? I could have literally just did like 1.5. Sometimes I don't know how math works. So I just have to guess over and over again. I'm just hiding all this dirt. So you don't see it. I You could see that dirt. That's fine. Who's going to complain about that? I want some grass too. Which is in the flower section. Apparently. I'm looking for like, I think it's Cottage Living has it. Okay, I found it. And I was quiet for so long because everyone will be tricked into thinking I knew exactly where it was, but I didn't. Okay. This is what I used in my swamp build that I posted last week, which is why it was in my memory and why I was looking for it. I was like, that'll go perfect. That's exactly what I need. Okay. Let's lower these two. Minus 0. 0.4. Okay. That one is okay over there. What about this guy? I can lower this one a little bit more. Okay. So the outside is practically done. I think all I will really do is like add some dirt around i do want to see if this will look better with this no i'm not doing that i just need some regular old dirt to put down the pathway maybe the one that was in horse ranch because i like this one yeah i'll also make it like i'll try and blend it in with how they have this dirt but it's not going to match because they don't give us dirt paths that match this i could delete this one that one's not really necessary this is horrible i'm not good at doing this by the way i've never been good at terrain paint sometimes i really like how i do it and then most of the time i don't and I just ignore it <laughs> and pretend like I like how it looks. But that's something that like I feel like you only notice if you're playing in the build like this. That's that looks fine. 
it's not perfect, but it's like it's acceptable for what I wanted. Maybe green. How do I remove all oh, right here? I don't know. I feel like I like the blue like this time. Usually I change that. I'm going to give it a look and see. Um, yeah, nor I feel like if this was a speed build, I would put a whole bunch of wall cracks on it, but it's unnecessary. I do not need to do that. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some more ivy on the side because I realized that I didn't have any. And like not too much, just a little bit. And I'm happy with the windows. Um, I might end up changing that door because the door doesn't really match. But I'll like worry about that when I get inside the house. Which will be pretty soon. Because I'm about to do it now once I pick out the deck stuff. Which I might just use wood out here. Do I, how many do I have? Oh yeah, I'm back here. So that's okay. I think I'm going to go with a lighter wood inside anyway. I haven't done that in a little while, but I really like how like light wood looks. I like this one better. Well, I don't like it outside, but I like it on the inside. We'll see if that changes when I add lighting in. Because I like how that looks now. So I'm going to start on the floor plan of this build. I would like a bathroom down here which this seems like a good place for a bathroom um this seems like kitchen dining room and living room but maybe we'll like have that be a entryway but i need a staircase so maybe the staircase goes here let me delete this entryway wall i'll probably expand the entryway a little bit that would be nice if I didn't need, like, a doorway over here. Okay, I'll put the doorway over there. Or, like, an archway over there. But that looks pretty nice. So you walk in, you have the bathroom here, kitchen there. This will have an archway over here. And it'll lead to a living room. And then the dining table will be in front of the big glass sliding doors. And I'm sure it would be, like, a nice view to eat. Because I think this is, like, right on a, the water. Yeah, that's really pretty. So I need to find the base game. Here it is. So that's, that's perfect. I'm probably going to make this run down. Um, I had to pause briefly because I didn't know if you could pick up the background noise that was happening. <laughs> but I looked back at the recording and you couldn't. So it's all okay. I guess I'll do upstairs floor plan now which will be a bedroom. Okay, that worked out perfect. Bathroom. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like the windows are like perfectly lined up. I could put the toilet here. So like, it'll be like a closed off toilet situation. Hallway leading to... Is that a... Too... Bad, uh, like, is that a weird bedroom? I think it should be okay. This will be like a family area, like a hobby activity table. I'm thinking of it as it would be like a vacation home since I'm in Granite Falls right now. Let me save. That kind of took me a while. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And so these bedrooms, although small, I think that's all the space that you really need. I love this door. Wait, no. <laughs> Hold on. I love this door. This is the door that I love. I need some lights in here. Hold on. Let me just... Let me do this. And then I'm getting lights in here because I can't build like this. <laughs> okay. So, lighting. But I really like that door. It was like the textures that were added into base game in like the last year, I want to say. This is pretty bright down here, so I'm making it even brighter with these lights. I'm going to tone it down. I set all of the lighting to, like, a warm yellow. So I'll do, like, all lights. And I'll do that. And I'll tone it down a little bit. 
so it's a little bit easier on the eyes but yeah i think these doors look really nice so i'm going to do half walls up here i think normally i do like fences over here but i feel like this would work really nicely instead and i'll need a railing on this too sometimes i use the vampire ones and they do go really well with that oh yeah i turned off like g-shade for a second it looks really good so um now where do i start for this hmm. i'm going to start in the dining room <laughs> i'll pick out the wallpaper later uh right now i kind of want to like get a vibe for what kind of table I want. Maybe like a little worn down, like have this here. Oh, I need the this here. Um, it might be like a squeeze to get to the kitchen, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure Sims can walk there. Yeah, Sims need like half a tile around things. So I'm gonna do white. I kind of like that look for this house. Maybe grab some wallpaper. Um, that's too much wood, I think. What kind of wallpaper do I want? I really like this one in base game. Okay, I'm gonna grab this for now. And if I want to change it later, I'll change it later. But I'm just gonna throw it in every room. <laughs> For now, I'm going to change some of it. I promise I'll change some of it. I'll get some kitchen or dining room clutter items on the table, too. So, like, I'll have a plant here. I'll have some candles on the table. What kind of candles do I want? I always use this one. But I'm thinking about something a little bit more, like... Um, simple <laughs> instead of like that that like screams like a medieval build to me which usually I like doing but I feel like I don't want that right now I want like very tiny little candles okay I typed in candle <laughs> this is what I was looking for was the one that came with the bathroom kit and i'm just gonna go to dining room and look at what clutter options they have get rid of debug or else i'll be here scrolling for such a long time i've been cheating and pausing the recording when i'm going for too long <laughs> of like scrolling but i found these cute plates i haven't really used much from the new kit so i got very excited i like that I think that looks really nice and i probably want like a piece of art in the back this might take a while too we'll see i do usually do wall marks and stuff because that's just how i like to build okay i pick i'm going with this I feel like this is like the base game wall art that people do when they make base game houses. And I'm saying that because I'm one of those people. I do that. And I just want the cottage living plant probably. That's like my go-to. Um, even though I found out that the lighting looks super strange with it sometimes. That took me a while to find. I can't even pretend. <laughs> that took me so long. Uh, maybe I could get like a the china cabinet that has oh my god that has dishes in it. This took me an embarrassingly long time to find. I found it though by going sorting through a base game and going through like multiple categories. Wait, those are so cute. I love that. This little scene is very beautiful. Grab some more wall holes <laughs> i'm i must say a little bit nervous about the sims going through there they should they should be able to get through there and now i just need a rug which probably probably this one i like the like toned down colors in it 
I'll just take a look and see if there's anything else. Oh. Or maybe rug layering, perhaps? Okay, wait, I kind of like that. Because <laughs> I didn't like how bright and like patterned it was in this room. So layering that one with the book nook rug did exactly what I needed. And I'll need a chandelier over the table now. Let's see. I usually go with this one. I think that works for this. I'm going to place it. I'm going to see if there's anything else. Maybe this cottage living one instead. Yeah, I think I might actually do the cottage living one. Make it more like a country house. Yeah, I like that. And now I want to start mapping out where the living room stuff is going to be. I would assume TV over here. Um, I Do I want to use this TV or do I want to use a big TV? I think I'm going to do a big TV in here just to fill up the space a little bit more. I'm going to pull out some of my go-to furniture pieces. I'm going to also, um, I think, do a fireplace over here, too. I like that one. I like the wood grain on this, too. It's really nice. Um, I don't want to block these windows too much, but I sadly think I'm going to have to. <laughs> like, no matter what I choose, I think... Um, is that what I want? I want it to be very like cozy, lived in, and this kind of has that because there's like blankets thrown around. So I'm probably going to stick with that. Put this over here. And I'll get a like floor lamp on the side over here, like a little reading light. What is this one? That kind of looks- is that supposed to be a mailbox? I have a feeling it is. I love this lamp. <laughs> I remember watching my friend stream and she was like, I hate this lamp. And I was like, help, that's my favorite lamp that I use for reading light. Um, hmm. I feel like I'm going to use carpet in here to make a fake rug instead of using another rug because I'm getting thrown off by the other rug <laughs> in the dining room. And I feel like it's too many rugs and this might be better like that. Yeah, I need a stain on it. So let me go into here too. That's not in comfort. Where's decorations? stain i always do this like a little wine stain <laughs> that's a pretty large stain right can i oh my god what did i do leave me alone oh my god okay um i not okay let's just let's just move on <laughs> i got really scared i thought i ruined everything This little corner will have some plants, I think. Because there's so much, like, sunlight in this area, I think having different plants around will really help the space. So we get this one. I like that one, too. Um, maybe this one, too. I want a little stool over here. The jungle adventure one that I overuse in every single build that I've ever made. And that goes there. Do I need curtains? I probably do, right? These are my favorites too. I feel like this wall though, I'll do like fake curtains around. So I'll have this go here and then I'll have the other part over here. So that it looks like it is can be draped through, but it's not. Also, I want to make that slightly smaller. 
Th that's too small. Let's do like point eight, and then turn the shade back on. This is pretty much done in here. I'm just gonna add some more wall marks around. And I need some more clutter and stuff. Maybe I should... Okay, I know how I'm going to speed this process up. I'm going to throw so much stuff on the floor and then I'm going to come back and it'll all be out. <laughs> and then I'll record me placing it around. Okay, I'm back. That was actually pretty quick. I probably didn't have to stop my recording for that. But I pull out a bunch of clutter. I also grabbed a shelf out where I'm going to place that around some areas, maybe up here too, just, no, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not block the window. But I put, I pull out so much stuff. I grab this pillow because I was thinking that if this is like people are coming here on vacation, that someone would be sleeping on the couch. Like even if they had a bed, I feel like someone would be on this couch. And I like this print for so I want that over there. I have this other set of pillows, which is also um, a seat, I believe. I have different books, which I could put over there. I got a little tea kettle, a mug, a book for writing, which um, let me move this stuff so that I can map it out a little bit better. So they could like write in their book while drinking tea. They could light some candles if they want. There's also glasses here. Like that's just like a perfect setup. I've never cluttered that well. Maybe I need to do that more often where I pause <laughs> to grab all the clutter. And I mostly was just focused on stuff that had a very like neutral color palette and some like pastels and stuff. This will probably go over here too. I'm thinking those pillows are a little bit too much now. So I'm going to get rid of them. I also had some things for over here for plant stuff. This box is going to be deleted, by the way. That happens to me every time I tool stuff down <laughs> onto the surface. It gets deleted. But I'll do this anyway. Minus 0 0.09. Okay, that was perfect. Yeah, I got some plant things because of all these plants here. I thought that it would work well. I'll like hide these back here a little bit more. And have this. I might even want to size this down a little bit. 0.75. I'll have a variety of these. Okay, this one doesn't snap on there. So I'll have to manually do this myself. Which is okay. That's what I'll do. Oh. Okay. Can I? Oh, I could do that. That's perfect. Get rid of this light. Get some wall lights around to help brighten up the space a little bit. I picked out just some like white ones. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to have to change the lighting again because it's going to be a little bit messed up that I'm adding these around. Also delete these so I know what I need. Let's do all lights. That. Okay, this is actually coming along a lot better <laughs> than I originally had expected for it to be. So I'm going to place this here. I think I'm going to not do as much clutter for now and I'm going to start trying to place in the bulk of the items so that I can you know finish more of the house and then 
in the next part I'll be able to focus mostly on clutter for everything else. Moving the door over so I could put a shower over here. I don't usually use showers in The Sims. I use showers in real life. I don't use showers in The Sims because I like the look of bathtubs more, but the space is pretty tiny. So I feel like I have to. So let's just grab what I need, which is that. And then my favorite mirror in the game, which is this. And then I will outline the kitchen. I like this. Am I going to reuse that? No, let's not reuse it. I'm going to use this. So. And start with this. I don't want that window being blocked. I'll put the fridge on this side. I can probably put an island in the middle of these. No, I think that's too much. I think that like really starts to ruin it a little bit. I'm going to put... Okay, I have an idea. This. And then this. I'll move this light over there and over here I'll have something like this yeah this is like working out I might have this be like a have a fake stool oh wait you know what I need a trash can <laughs> that's not something I ever put in my build so trash can there we'll get a sink over here and some cabinets around the place too probably no, i'll use the matching ones wait the matching ones from cottage living don't look as good i'll use these i like these ones a lot better i really can't have that many in here because there's a lot of windows And I don't want to block them too much. I feel like I don't like having the same thing over and over again. But it's just something I have to do. I want this to kind of be above it. Which I'm going to have to alt place. Okay. And then I'm going to grab these shelves over here. And... I think do this. Okay. So now I'm going to, I'm not even going to go upstairs yet, but I'm going to clutter this place a little bit. So I'm going to pull out more clutter objects and then place them around in each room <laughs> like I did before. Okay, my timer is going to be out in 30 seconds, but I decided that I really want to, like, have this downstairs cluttered in this part. Like, I don't want to split them up. And so I'm going to just do my own thing <laughs> and see how long it takes. And I didn't grab all the clutter at one time. I am going to do it in little batches. And I also finally have the stuff pack that came like the home hustle kit no not kit <laughs> home hustle stuff pack and so i can like finally use these items which i never really have gotten to use because i haven't done a house since then i know there's stuff in there <laughs> but i'm kind of imagining that there isn't um, or maybe they're in the middle of baking something and they do have this stuff out Put a bunch of plates up here. Possibly go and look for some other plates too. Oh, new knife block. I completely forgot about this stuff. I didn't get it because I didn't think I would get that much use out of it. And I'm realizing that I am going to get use out of it because I'm going to probably just filter by this pretty often now. 
I need to like all place this stuff so that I can make it look better. And what did I want to do? I think I wanted the snowy escape blades too. Let me sort by that. Snowy escape. That's not decor. Decor is over here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So I don't want them to be too much of the same, but I want it to like make sense. Wait, maybe I'll put the mugs instead. I was going to get debug glasses, but sometimes they... I mean, most of the time they become stinky. And sometimes I do want that, other times I don't. I'm going to store some mugs up here then. I've never done something like this. How about a dirty one? Someone forgot <laughs> to wash that one in the sink. This feels like very natural. Let's get... I guess I'll use some of these items too. I'll have that waffle maker. I feel like that makes sense for in here. I really like the tea kettle too. So I'll put that over there. And oh, should I have a dishwasher? No, I don't like how the dishwasher looks with this cabinet. So I'm not going to do that. The stand mixer would be perfect over here too though. Okay, I'm doing both, but I need to move some stuff around. Not now. Who is this? Not now. Okay. Oh. I need to raise this up. Sorry for the the flickering of it. I'm gonna zoom out. Okay. This is working. I'll put that there. And then I'll get a rug in here. I don't want to put clutter on this side of the kitchen because I want it to be functional so i'm gonna keep two of them pretty clear um and not have anything and over here i'm going to look through everyday clutter and get like the coin dish and stuff get that maybe i'll grab this stuff so it's like all stuff that they'd like leave the house with pretty quickly I love these kits and like what comes in them. I think like a lot of really useful stuff comes in them. Okay, coins over there or coins. Okay, a little phone and I want a clothing rack or like a coat rack. Okay, I think it's called coat rack, Megan. Huh? <laughs> what is that called? I swear. I've used, I've typed in coat or clothes and that has come up before. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> I just had a filter on. I thought they were lying to me. I'm going to keep that door. I feel like the door is fine. It's like cut off from the rest of the house. So it doesn't look too bad. Like it stands out too much. It'll be okay. And size so sat down. Okay. I wonder if I could get a mirror over here. I'm not sure if it'll fit. There has to be one. I guess that one fits, but I kind of would rather something else. But I think this is the only one that might fit without like being too high. I mean, that one fits, but that's a little bit too fancy for what I'm going for in this house. Oh, wait, this one's... This one's fancy but not so fancy like this is okay i didn't notice there were stickers on this oh my god what the hell that's so cute no stickers down here though all right that goes there is there anything else i want on this table like a plant i'm gonna put a plant there it's those candles i like go up here too I just don't want it to be completely empty. Uh, 
I want that like right on the edge of here. Push it in a little. Close enough. That's as close as it's gonna get, I think, for now. For the bathroom, I'm going to use the bathroom clutter stuff. Yeah. I want it to be just like stuff everywhere probably <laughs> like there's not a lot of organization um they don't really use this very often because i guess this is like a rental cabin right in granite falls can i put this in the shower right i've seen people do that does that make it like not usable i guess i'll find out some way have some spare toilet paper. Oh, I should have done light switches around, maybe. Um, <clears throat> I want another trash can in here. What is this? Wait, that's cute. It's kind of too big. <laughs> I'm not doing a trash can in here. It's because, like, I don't know, it's such a weird layout. You walk in, toilet. And then there's, like, open space. Like, shouldn't this be the other way? And I know that this is glass, but it's throwing me off. I don't like it. So I need to close that. Maybe use... That. Yeah, I need that. Okay, this is better now. I feel less stressed <laughs> about the layout. I was like, this is, like, a maze in here. I'm using the same snow escape rug. I do this anyway all the time. I use the same things over and over again. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Some more holes around. Same item reused over here. But a little bit larger. Do I want this? Does that recreate the maze? Kind of, but I feel like I, I feel more peace <laughs> with this than I did with the other one before. Um, I really don't need much else in this bathroom. I don't really want anything else, I don't think. I guess I could do that and like have to clutter up here with some stuff. Do that. Oh, we need toilet paper. Toilet paper can go over here. Oh, some more towels, too. There. Is that too many towels? Is that like... I don't know if that's too many. I'll... I'm going to just keep it. Maybe they need a lot more towels. I don't know how many beds are going to be in this place. Someone can sleep on the couch, though, technically. I did have that as an option for them. I just want, like, easily, like, snappable objects in this. Did they ever, like, because I remember when this came out and it was, like, blurry. Yeah. It's still pretty blurry. We can ignore that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Some combs. Maybe that's not right. Deciding on a plant in here. I think that works a little bit more. Can that go there? Or do I like this light source? No, I think I keep it here. That should be fine. Oh, okay. I want one more thing in here. And it's the cabinet above the toilet that shower is so dark now i might need to like hide a or maybe this i'm gonna do that i'll have some fun little lights in here why not some starry lights a little bright over here let's tone that down this light Thank you. 
I don't know, is this done? I guess so, right? Yeah. I think I have enough stuff down here. Like, everything is cluttered in some way. Like, there's some pieces around. So I'd say that this is, like, a good place to stop for today. And then the next part, I'll do this whole upstairs, which maybe will be pretty quick. But yeah, thank you so much for watching uh, my first build video type series in this format. I appreciate it. But yeah, I'll see you in part three at some point that is unplanned as of right now.